Hi everyone, this is Cindy, and I'm just doing a little <clears throat> craft with me. I don't have anything major planned. I just, uh, last night I had a, I have a basket that sits by my sewing machine, and I just put different projects in it that need to be sewn. So I just went on a sewing frenzy, and uh, just got a bunch of things out of that basket, and I'll put it into another one. But this one's like a, a tall journaling card. I could definitely decorate the front. I had made a bunch of these banners, and I still have a whole bunch more to sew. And I just sew around all the edges and um, just kind of secures them a little bit. I usually put blank paper on the back so you can write on them. So it could be a, make it like a paper clip out of them or just, I don't know. Yeah, I usually a paper clip them on and that way you can take them off and write under them. These are just journaling cards. Some have collage on them, some don't. So they're just waiting for whatever's next and they're stitching on them. And then I had a bunch of these which I had forgotten about. It's just a book page. Folded in half, blank paper on the back and on the insides, and then the front is waiting for some sort of collage or decorative element. So I was thinking I might put some lace on that um, fold because it could, over time, um, you know, break if it's just used a whole bunch. So anyway, I thought I'd just do that and I should have got my other ball of glue, but... I'm just gonna work on these and <clears throat> maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, if you got a project, you can be working on it as well. I have a small little space I'm working in because it just gets smaller and smaller as I get more stuff out. So, here we go, glue. It's kind of over that fold. And, Just cut it off with scissors. I left the jagged edge on this. I like the jagged edges, so I'm just gonna fold it and let it dry like that. So it's ready for it's something on the cover. So I just have a bunch of these, so I just thought I'd do them up real quick. I can use up this lace. It's pretty lace. It's a vintage lace I got probably from Salvation Army. It's where I get most of my laces and ribbons. Uh, my Salvation Army is not open. I've checked it a couple of times, and I'm just assuming they're not going to open it until like um, June 1st, so that's probably good because this way I have to use up what I've already purchased. How many of these I have? Several. I mean, I was, you could see them <laughs> sewing away. I was just using up some of this green thread. And see, I had a lot of tags too that I uh, stitched around. They're just layers of blank paper on the back and book pages, and they're ready for whatever I put on the front. And then I think I have one journaling card mixed in there, too. So anyway, uh, those over here. And what else do we got? This is just another tall tag. It could be a belly band. Uh, oh yes, let's work on some of these. I made um, from these old children's book page. If the picture is at the top, then you can make a pretty neat envelope with it. You just fold it up and then fold, uh, it's actually the bottom of the page, becomes the flap of the page. So I just stitch all the way around the page like that, and then um, glue the sides closed. So let me do those. So I've been going through all the books I had purchased for junk journals, and uh, pulled out pages like this that I thought I could use. I'm trying to clean my glue bottle here. There we go. So I'll have all this stuff worked up and can put in different journals. And I found several, like, I was, all of them were in this book. I had a couple of children's readers 
and had pictures that would work for like circus journals. Like this one could be a farm, the boys in the overalls, and there's the, the fields, and his dog. It could be in a, for a dog journal too. I'm not gonna do a dog journal, but some of might. See, there's the circus one. It's one of the rings with the clown and the horse, uh, horses, and it's fun. So I'm definitely putting it in my uh, circus folder. So there is, I've, I mentioned many, 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 many videos ago, I did a circus journal and talked to you about the circus in my town. And they winter over here, so um, all year long we have elephants here because they have a, an endangered arc for the elephants. So I mentioned that a lot. Um, but the circuses stay here in the winter time when they do their uh, training and stuff. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned about the time the tiger got loose or not. One of their tigers got loose, and he was loose for a couple of days, and just you know roaming the countryside. And uh, they knew kind of where he was at because they found like carcasses of animals he had killed. And finally, they uh, got a helicopter and used infrared imaging so they could spot him and were able to catch him. So. Fortunately, it was on the opposite side of town as me because I was not real sad. I mean, I was real nervous <laughs> about there being a tiger on the loose. But I think one time, way, 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 way before I was born, they had an elephant get loose. So they had a big old elephant hunt. So that was probably fun back in the day. But anyway, so we have circuses here. And we also have trains. So I like this train one. It makes a great, a really great envelope. So... One of these days I might do a um, junk journal on trains because our town developed from crossroads, you know, where two trains uh, met, I mean two, yeah, two tracks crossed over. And I think a lot of towns are probably developed like that. Here's another one which I stitched the whole thing instead of gluing it because um, I thought it was kind of fragile. And I think I decided later on another one, let's see if I can find one you know, right here. It's a different book, you can tell. I went ahead and I did the same thing on this one, stitched it. Uh, yeah, decorative stitch here, then I just did stitched it closed. Farm. But I was thinking there were some that I didn't do that to, but there's not. See, there's one there. I stitched the whole thing, just because I thought it was more um, fragile and I wasn't sure about that bottom stain. Closed, they probably need you know what? Why don't I put some lace on that flap? I just secure that flap a little. Anything on these older pages that's going to be bent a lot, I think, is needs to be reinforced. So let's just put some of this lace on there. And don't think it will hurt it a bit. Sticking to me. a little something to the top and that'll just help it on that fold so I probably should do that on most of these here's another one so boys are playing with tops but anyway I just thought I you know I just keep putting stuff in that basket and I never do anything with it so it was time to um, get moving on it that bottle kind of making noises reminded me of something yesterday <laughs> happened. We were in the town over from us, and they have a little, um, I don't know what you call it, place, little, kind of like a food truck, sort of. And they have lemonade and corn dogs. So that just sounded good. So I went to get, get some. And of course, my husband said he wanted a strip of mustard down one side of the corn dog and down the other. And I'm like, okay, so here I am. Got two drinks here, a bag with corn, uh, corn dogs in it. I take one of them out, so I'm holding this corn dog, and I get the mustard on one side, fine, and I'm coming down the other, and it did one of those bloop air thingies, and I mean, it shot mustard all over my shirt. <laughs> so I'm standing there trying to get all this stuff, you know, packed up and back to my car, and they're saying, you got mustard all over you, and I'm like, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it, so trying to get away from there as fast as possible. So anyway, wiped it up as best I could, but yeah. So that's what that ball reminded me of. 
Oh, the thrills of my life. Yes. Okay. The rest of the stuff here is some more of these envelopes. I'll put more lace on those. More blank tags. Journaling cards that are collaged. Well, I've got tons of envelopes. And I love this one for some reason. I just love that envelope. It's big. <laughs> it probably won't fit in any journal I ever make. But, oh, it needs to be glued. It's been stitched all around. You can see the book page, how big the book page was. Okay. Come on before the other side dries. This one I was using some variegated thread. Yellows and greens and blues in it, so anyway. It was actually from a book on Charles Darwin, but the only thing you can see is some horses there, but the rest of it, it's a scenery thing, but I like the colors of it. It's just, I don't know, something I like. So it makes an envelope. So we got more journaling cards and a whole lot of these. I've got to get lace on the um, folds, um, pegs. So that's what I was doing last night. Um, I also sewed signatures in on another journal. It's right here. It's going to be another B journal, so I'm just going to work on it. There's another. Oh, I was doing this, and I said, hey, wait a minute. It's got a beehive and a bee. How did I miss that? So it's going to get glued and put in here. So anyway, that's my next project. Um, just work on this. And I'm going to do some more sewing, too, because i got more to sew in there. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you craft along with me a little bit, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, I thought I'd just keep going on this pile of stuff that's on my desk. Um, I showed you earlier the stuff I had just sewn on my machine. Now I've got this pile of bee stuff I'm going through, and I've been working on it. I thought, why don't I just turn the camera on? So I'm working on pockets and journaling cards and just whatever's in this pile. This was an envelope that I got from somewhere. I can't remember where. It's uh, If you go to the Bee Journal videos, <laughs> selecting pages, I think that's where I tell where I got this stuff. When I do the flip through, I'll, I'll try to remember to tell. But anyway, I think it was a freebie off of somebody. It, it may have been the, um, yeah, the Bountiful... Uh, heir, bountiful heirlooms dot blogspot I think is where I got it so in the other journal I put it in upside down because you know the bee could be flying either way so and the flap is on the front which kind of is interesting but you know I think this time instead of gluing it down I'll just clip it on there and that way I don't have to worry about that flap so anyway I got a little bit of white showing here so I'm just going to try to distress that out a little bit let me sit down and get a sheet of paper out so I don't get this on my white. I had this white thing down to when I film and I forgot to remove it. So anyway, okay, so I got that. And I had got this from some book. So I cut it out and put it on some blank paper. So it's ready to be a journaling card. Just whenever, and it's even got somebody's name stamped on it. D.C. Edwards from Houston, okay? Um, I'm not sure where these pages came from. I had several, and I actually hinged some together and made them uh, pages, see, right here in this journal. I hinged them together and I stitched them together. And I have an extra page, so I thought, well, I'll just fold it up and put it in a pocket. So there's two things for um, the pockets. I have these um, place cards that I got at Walmart, a whole stack of them, 50 of them for a dollar. They're, I think they're probably regular in the wedding section and it makes a little booklet. It's really a place card, you know, you put on the table with someone's name, but it can be decorated up in a little booklet, so it's tall and skinny. These are from G. Kerr. She has a Friday um, freebie and it was a sheet of tags and she was cutting them out and then folding them to make like little miniature envelopes. So. I had two of those, and basically, you cut the tag out, and then I fold the, the top down first to kind of get the depth I want, and then I just, whatever's left over, I just fold it up to meet it. So I'll ink those up, and they'll be two different uh, things to slip in some pockets. Not necessarily for this journal, but they were just here in the stack, so 
They may make the cut for the bee journal. May not. Let's go ahead and ink that up. And they could be glued onto a page, the back of it, and then it just open up like that on the page. So either way works. These are just printed on just the cheapest copy paper there is because that just happened to be. Uh, I just grabbed some at Walmart and didn't even think about. I was thinking more like printing out, you know, printer, but not printing out stuff like this. And anyway, I definitely like the thicker stuff. So anyway, there's another one. Uh, there's that. I'm going to put these in separate. No, I'm just going to put them here for now. Separating the pockets with the um, journaling cards, but it doesn't matter. I had taken these circles from uh, the uh, blog spot um, heritage. Bountiful Heritage, <laughs> it's so hard for me to remember that. Bountiful Heritage blog spot. And I put it on some um, book page and inked it up so it could definitely be, actually I want to keep these out. It could be a pocket or a journaling, no, a pocket or a tuck spot in the journal. I'm gonna put them here so I can get them placed in there. Here's a, this um, book belongs to, it's from that same um, website. She has a lot of freebies and I had downloaded these a long time ago and I'm finally getting to use, use them. I had these B cards and I've already backed them with some paper. So they're journaling cards. This is from a Kleenex box. I like the yellow flowers, so I just cut it and I thought it could make a cute little tuck. So it goes in there. I had put a, fa a fabric flip in the other B journal and here's what's left over and it should be perfect for another fabric flip in this journal so it goes there. Okay, I have this, it talks about hives and uh, I just roughly cut it out of a children's magazine so it needs to be trimmed up some. And I'm just going to use my scissors because I'm maneuvering around the word hoard and the bumblebees, or the bees, honeybees. I finally saw honeybees at our house the other day, there's been a lot of wildflowers um, blooming because we can't mow because of all the rain. And um, I thought, where are the bees? Well, I finally saw some with some clover yesterday, about three of them, and I thought, yay, because I'm definitely an endangered species. Okay, this needs to be backed onto something, and maybe some old music paper would work. Uh, this is very fragile. I had stamped a B on it, and you can just see how fragile that tears. But I love the coloring on it. So I think if we can back it onto some other book pages, I'm gonna grab some. I have a few stacked here. Here's one. So this is from an encyclopedia. If I just fold it in half, it won't be big enough. What am I doing? Okay, I am putting this on here and I want it thicker on the back. So, okay, I really should use glue sticks. Let me go grab one. Just found a stack of those in my chair. When I went to Walmart the other day, I kind of stocked up on glue sticks. Um, they were out of the small ones. I did the same thing with the Dollar General and got a bunch of theirs. I don't know if you've been into any of those stores and looked at the craft sections, but they are definitely depleted. And depending on where this stuff comes from, it may not get restocked for a while. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the middle of this page. Let's see, does this say where it's from? Made in China. Yeah, so we may not see much of this <laughs> for a while. Okay, deckle scissors. Nope, nope, not deckle scissors. Not yet. I'm just going to cut around it real rough. Got glue all on that side. Okay, definitely can save all that. Okay, now I'm going to glue it onto these papers and that'll make it thicker. I could have used cardstock, but why waste cardstock when I can uh, use some up some music? I mean, some uh, book pages. I should have glued the book's pages instead of this. You can tell it's a fresh glue stick. Wow, it's nice and juicy. <laughs> okay, get off of there. Now, just need to make sure I 
capture enough of the back papers. I think we're good. Okay, if I need to glue some more, I'll go back with the fabric tac because it's easier to get into the little corners. Now I'm going to get my deco scissors out. And they probably won't work so much because it's wet. But so far, so good. I just want some of that music to show if possible. Okay, we got problems there. I did not glue the folded paper together, which I should have. So we'll catch it now. Now I'm going to get matched up with my duckle side. I think I can do that. One thing about the duckle, it wasn't, won't matter too much if I don't match it up. It's supposed to look jaggedy. Okay, now that's done. Once this dry, it will be thicker and I can use it for a uh, side pocket or a tuck. And I should have inked this up a little. Just catch it, knock down some of that white. So anyway, that's gonna be a pocket or like I said, tuck spot in the book, so put it there. Okay, huh. moving along. Here's a picture of a bumblebee and a flower. Okay, I need to trim that up. Leave a little bit of border around it. I can make this a journaling card and I just happen to have some of these on um, waiting for a focal point. So let me ink it. Get this ready. Yeah, I didn't realize I had so many bumblebee bee things, not bumblebee, just honeybees, bees, uh, items collected for journals and I had a, a whole bunch. So that was cool. So a lot of one-of-the-kind elements in here. It's not printed off of a digital kit. It's like this from uh, probably an encyclopedia, this from a children's dictionary, the uh, fabric flips that Robin made. One-of-a-kind items. Okay. Okay, and you know, a little bit of lace or something on there. I was just using some that would have been perfect. I got book pages avalanching here. What did I do with that? I had a scrap left. Here we go. No, that's not it, but it might work. It's too wide. Let's just use some of this. It's very small. Just put a little bit there. Okay, cut it too long, it's fine. I'll trim it off. Why oh, this glue doesn't want to stand up? Oh, there goes my charms. Also, I bought some charms yesterday at Walmart because they also were made in China, and I thought, you know, you could just tell that section was. Um, emptying out and I don't know if it's because people are crafting you know while they're home or these items just start coming back from China so quickly so that I'm stocking up while I can so anyway yeah that's really pretty I like the colors the bumblebee and then a little bit of lace so that's gonna be a journaling card ready for this journal I have two pockets almost alike made out of fabric stitched onto index cards I'll put those over here Here's one just like it with the uh, same fabric that's on the spine, the honeycomb fabric. There's an envelope that I made out of that um, page from the bartender's guide and you can't really tell that that's just a glass of something. Looks like a peach, piece of peach wedge there or something, or plum. Don't think it's apple. It could be apple, I don't know, but anyway. Once you fold it up, it takes on a whole new look and it is not a daiquiri or whatever it is uh, an envelope. So maybe I should cover up the word daiquiri. I don't know. But anyway, here's some honey. A throat soother is a soother. It's a little recipe. Add honey and lemon to hot water or weak tea to loosen mucus and ease pain. So why don't I just put that on that little envelope? It's just about the right size. And we'll have another little envelope ready for the journal. 
So I cut this from a book. It was a book on home remedies and um, health, just different health related issues. So that's where it came from. So I gotta think about what I can, I can get some washi tape to cover up the word daiquiri. I don't guess it hurts to have the word daiquiri there. But this, once again, is something like I was saying, one of a kind uh, item for this journal that you can't print from a digital kit. So I use the digital kits for the pages and uh, some types of things. You'll see them as we go, but some of these items as well. Okay, um, we'll try some washi tape with oh, the word daiquiri. I can find the end of it. Okay, there we go. I hope I can still read it, but it's not quite as obvious now. <laughs> I was thinking I'd put some lace across there too. Um, I still need that one lace I had. It's perfect. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Yes. Just run that across there and we're good. We don't lose it. Just like the mustard bottle. There we go. Who would ever think? It's a glass of a daiquiri. <laughs> a glass of, it's not a glass of daiquiri. It's just a daiquiri. <laughs> a picture of a daiquiri. There we go. Instead, it's a throat soother envelope. Okay, what next? I have a larger one of these that we'll use for a uh, pocket, and it's from the Puffs Lotion Box. I left the word Puffs on there just so you would kind of know. It's kind of fun to know that we're reusing something. And I have shown these before. I made these from layers of book pages and just cut the shape and um, then I put the napkin on there. So there's one for this journal. These are just things. Okay, there's my thing where I was using to do a five hole punch stitch, uh, five hole uh, stitch on the other journal. This is from the kit. And it's printed on shinier paper because I just had some I was wanting to get rid of. So at one time I thought about for the cover, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to set that aside. It might be on the cover. Here's some journaling cards. I, well, you know what? That one could be a journaling card. But this one can. I don't have anything blank on the back. I might use it as a tuck. We'll see. I kind of like that. Well, the bees, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe you don't like the looks of those. So if it's a journaling card, it's easy to toss. Uh, definitely this. That might be pretty on the cover as well. Oh boy. Okay. Set that aside. These are all from that Bountiful Heirlooms uh, blog spot. So um, if you saw any of the other Bee Journal videos and you've seen these items before, I just printed everything twice until I ran out of ink. And then fortunately the ink came in yesterday. So I'm back to business. I printed so much they... Um, I ran out before they had a chance to know I was low. So, okay, here's another one of those circles from that Bountiful uh, Heirlooms blog spot. I will make it into a tuck. I haven't got anything around it, but uh, I, I like it better that way, I think. <laughs> it's, it's a big size, and I don't have a punch really large enough to um, do the circle, to put something behind it, so... I like this as a tuck or a pocket. I printed it on um, 
just real flimsy copy paper. So let's take a book page. I'm going to grab one over here. And this time I'm going to triple it up to get some thickness. And this time I'm going to remember to glue the pages together. I hope you guys can see. I'm getting way scooted towards the edge. Maybe. <laughs> you can see what surrounds me better. I don't know how people work with just a clean desk. I just haven't figured it out yet. Oops. See, everything's sliding. These are some more of those. I think I showed them earlier. Place cards. Okay, now that is stuck together. It's just a way to get some thickness. I'm not using cardstock. It's like I said earlier, why well, use cardstock when I've got a ton of book pages that can be used to make a tuck thicker? You're not going to see them. I'm going to cut around them. It's four thicknesses of paper, so that's going to make a nice tuck. Or pocket and I got this from I think that same blog spot so it's still wet <laughs> when that glue dries it's gonna be really stiff and I don't mind the wrinkles I don't mind that at all because it just looks more old to me Okay, throw that away. What else we got? More tags from that blog spot. And then these beehive, they're facts about bees. They make great belly bands and tucks. And one time I used it as a side pocket. So, all from that Bountiful Heirlooms blog spot. I mean, yeah, it's a blog spot. So. Plenty of stuff for the journal. I just got to get it all glued in. I don't have to move to a different ball of Fabri-Tac or I'll be here all week gluing it in. I don't know why I'm inking all the backs because I probably won't, they won't show, but oh well. They might and they'll have it already done. One more. See this big one, I'm not going to ink the back because it's definitely going to be a tuck or a pocket or a belly band. Okay, I'll put that there. I might put this other big one there too. Journaling cards. That if you're into bees at all, you've got to go to that uh, website. More of these circles. There's three more. Make great journaling cards or tucks. journaling card. And this book belongs to, it seemed like there was two of these. I may not need both of them. If not, then I'll put it with another project I've got in the works, which is, I'll just give you a hint, it's about reading, that's all I'm going to say, and books, reading and books. So, this is on copy paper, so I'm going to use it to decorate something with, so I'm not going to do anything besides just ink it right now. I have these little fabric clusters that have been slow stitched, ready to go. And I made some faux stamps. So we got lots of things ready for this bee journal. I just need to get busy with it, don't I? Here's another coin envelope. I, if I don't use it, I'll include it as just part of the extras with the journal. I'm doing it off camera. Um, just folding it. 
I fold that down. So, oof. do not do a good job folding that. Try again. There we go. Okay, goes like that. Okay, so that's another pocket. This was from the kit. So just a journaling card, not just. It is a wonderful journaling card. <laughs> okay, I have this. Um, I made some of these earlier. If you watch the first part of the video, when I put lace instead of like a ribbon here, and this makes me think I could take this and put it there, and that would be nice. This needs to show up against that background though. What else could I do there? Hmm. I don't know. I put some of these. This is a label. I just cleaned off my stamps. I wish I put that somehow on here. It's like collaging. Also, I have these labels that, um, if you ever watched Dear uh, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, she makes what she calls a stack is a stacked sticker yeah you just take bits and pieces off your desk and glue them to one of these stickers and then you peel it off and it's a decoration so I've got one ready for that journal so um, let me make sure it gets put in there and this other one I'm thinking could just stick it on here it's part of the background I'm sure I get these stickers from Dollar, um, Dollar Tree yeah, and then I'm just going to glue that on there, and that's just going to be done. I might put a little lace up there. Who knows? Let's see. Glue stick. This is so flimsy. Glue stick will work great. If you watched my flip through of the last bee journal, you saw um, where I had gone to my um, ephemera basket, and I had closed my eyes and drew out a tag or journaling card, something that was in that basket, and I had to make it work in this journal. I think I'm going to try that again with um, um, the pockets, because I have a big tub of pockets and tucks that are already made, and then I just like I had the tags and journaling cards. So uh, why don't I do both? So maybe I'll just go get that, and we'll do it real quick. We'll see what kind of time we got. I have a feeling this is already a long video. Just at the top there. Just... Yeah, oh goodness, 26 minutes. Yeah, so I'm going to do that in the next video. I'm not going to add it to this one. So, anyway, journaling card ready to go. Glue dripping everywhere. I'm going to uh, sign off for now and I thank you guys for watching. I want to clean up a little bit here and I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye.